Hey gangsters, it's Langster here and this week we're going to be making the creamy fowl sauté from Final Fantasy XV. I'm sorry I haven't been that active for the last month. I've had a lot of things going on in my life and at work, so I just haven't had the chance to do anything. And plus, episode prompto came out so I had to play that as well, which was amazing, I really loved that. It was a really good chapter. What did you guys think about that? As usual, if you're interested in my daily life, if you want to stalk me or anything, you can follow me on Twitter at LangsterL. And if you haven't already, please do check out my Patreon page as well, which is found in the top right corner. As usual, the ingredients are on the screen, and as you can see, this is actually not too difficult a dish to make. And it is absolutely worth it, 100%. Now without any further ado, let's get to the cooking. First we're going to flatten the chicken, so lay the chicken breast down in between two pieces of cling film, and use a mallet, or any heavy object used for hitting things, to flatten the chicken. After doing so, score it with a knife on both sides. Season it well with pepper and salt, and rub it in to the grooves. Next, beat an egg up in the bowl. Sprinkle flour all over the chicken, make sure it's evenly coated and shake off any excess on both sides. After doing that, cover it in the egg mixture and then pour on the parmesan. Make sure to cover it evenly on both sides and again, shake off any excess. Now for the sauce, first crush one piece of garlic and dice it very very finely. Then, very very finely, dice half an onion. I actually forgot to record the part where I finally diced it. Next, chop off a sizeable piece of leek and dice half of it, whilst leaving the other half whole. Now it's time to actually cook the ingredients. So first, heat up the oil in a pan and add in the chicken. Cook the chicken on both sides for about 4 minutes on each side. I have my heat at about a 7 out of 9 or a medium heat. Remove the chicken and directly place in the very finely diced onions. Fry these until they're browned, and then add in the diced garlic and diced leek. Continue to fry this for about another 2 to 3 minutes. Next, add in the washed mushrooms and the whole pieces of leek. Fry this again for about 1 to 2 minutes. After the onions are almost caramelized, add in the white wine. Reduce the sauce, and then add in the chicken stock and water. Don't add in too much water, just make sure it kind of half covers the vegetables. Add in the thyme, stir it in and let it cook for about one minute. Next, add in the four tablespoons of goat's milk, or sheep's milk in Final Fantasy, Place in the chicken breast, and then add in the 4 tablespoons of creme fraiche. Stir it all in, and at the very very end, coat the chicken. And prepare to serve. Okay, so it's been a long time since we last ate anything, and today is going to be an absolute joy, the creamy fowl sauté. Look at that. First off, the smell is incredible. It's rich smelling, and you can smell the thyme. And also, look at it! Fried chicken in the middle with parmesan coating, and this nice creamy sauce to go with it with these lovely, lovely exotic mushrooms. First, I'm going to try the sauce. Oh. Oh. 
the flavors are just so amazing. Mmm. It's so creamy. And the lovely addition of the onions and the garlic and the leek, that flavor combination is insanely good. And these mushrooms. Mmm. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna dig into the chicken now. And look at that perfectly cooked chicken. I'm gonna cover it with a sauce and here we go. Mm. So the chicken is soft on the inside. And the cheesy parmesan coating is to die for. And that mixed with this lovely thyme flavor and the crunch of the onions and the leek and the garlic. Oh wow, this is insane. So I put just enough goat's milk in here for you to taste that slight goat milky kind of taste. But it's not overpowering at all. In fact, this is a beautiful combination. Mm. <laughs> this is the epitome of perfection. Mm. Oh. The freshness of the leek and the mushrooms goes perfectly with the richness of this sauce. Mm. And you get a really nice texture difference when you're eating the onions. You get a slight crunch. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. I have never had such a beautiful tasting chicken before. It is a dangerous thing to say because Nando's chicken is really amazing, but this, this flavor, oh my. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This chicken is cooked to perfection. It's nowhere near raw and it's nowhere near dry. It's smack bang in the middle. Wow. And the chicken itself is seasoned absolutely perfectly with this nice saltiness and the pepper on the inside and this amazing parmesan coating on the outside. Fried up, it is beautiful, absolutely. If there's one dish you have to try to cook, this is the one. There's just something really delicious about a cooked leek. If you've never had it before, try grilling or cooking just a plain piece of leek and tasting it. It is delicious. It's got this lovely sweetness to it. And it's so, so savory. It's so good. So good. This creamy sauce is a winner. Absolute winner. And then along with this chicken, double winner. So this is easily topped my list of favorite foods from Final Fantasy XV. This one is the most delicious one so far. It is amazing, it's perfection on a plate. Or in a bowl, mom's in a bowl. Mm. Absolutely 10 out of 10 perfection. This is the best dish out of all of the dishes I've made so far from Final Fantasy 15. So someone actually suggested this dish a long time ago, but I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. And today I have fulfilled your wish and also fulfilled my dreams. 
it was amazing. Thank you so much whoever recommended that or suggested that. Best thing that's happened on this show so far. 10 out of 10. It was creamy but not overly rich because I, probably because I used the low fat version of everything. The chicken was tender. It wasn't dry like you normally get chicken. It was perfectly cooked. The crunchy outside the amazing salt and pepper on the inside. It was out of this world. And then this leek, garlic, onion combination in the sauce. Oh, wow. Definitely eat it, definitely try it, definitely cook it, and let me know how you feel. Especially the person who recommended it, because this will blow your mind as well. Absolutely amazing. So I'm sorry I haven't posted for so long. I've had a lot of things going on in my life, which is work and family and life, basically. So I'm back now. And I'll probably be releasing another one next week, but we shall see how it goes because, again, I'm still quite busy. After eating today's, I am just even more excited to trying all the other dishes. So please do keep a lookout. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. Please love this video, I mean like this video, and also comment below with all your suggestions and comments about anything. I will read and reply. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. It was an absolute pleasure to cook and eat this dish this week. And next time, I'm gonna be making something pretty special as well. And I shall see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>